This Farm News video is brought to you by Crystal Flash. It's been more than 10 years since the inception of the Michigan Wheat Program. It took twice that long, more than two decades, to create a program to support and improve wheat production in the state. Farmers, stakeholders, and supporters recently gathered at the Saginaw Valley Research and Extension Center to celebrate the program's past accomplishments and look forward to future opportunities. Well, I'm excited to be here to help the wheat industry celebrate this milestone, their 10-year anniversary of the Wheat Checkoff Program and their whole program in general. You know, this is something that we worked at in Farm Bureau through our advisory committees that made recommendations and understanding that wheat didn't have a advocacy program on their behalf. And so now, here we are 10 years later, we're seeing the research being done, we're seeing MSU being involved, we're seeing a lot of farmers being involved. 60-65% of our budget is spent on research. We funded almost $1.4 million in research on almost 150 projects. So that's a huge research focus. And when you look at the wheat varieties available, when you look at the high management, when you look at all these projects, I really think they're making a difference for growers because we're not just doing the research, we're looking at the economics to say, this is what makes sense on your farm. And it, it has been an awesome 10 years. This, this is what I love to do. I think one of the big things for growers has not just been all the research projects, but the infrastructure. You know, we kind of set up a payment plan with Michigan State to help them be able to go out and buy some more land to add right here to Severick. That was a 30-year commitment to wheat research. We were also able to hire Martin Nagelkirk in a full-time capacity after he retired, so he was another person working on wheat. Then we also were able to put funds in to get Eric Olson here as the breeder, and we are a 50-50 partner funding the wheat specialist position, Dennis Pennington, and that's boots on the ground every day for farmers to pick up the phone and call. So you have the research and the specialists, but then you have the guys with the boots on the ground that are here to say let me look at that okay try this so you're really actually doing that land grant mission of taking the research and putting it to work on your farm and I think that's the piece that has made us so successful it's not just reading a report it's the guy who did it out in the field this morning the exciting things as we look to the future is the Great Lakes Yield Enhancement Network which is the partnership we have in Ontario um, that has just exploded this year in the U.S. So we're very excited to grow that. We think that is what takes us further the next 10 years, is to really get our feet into that program and really make it work. 